Hi, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the whiteboard and the full screen snip app. They work really well together. They both use the pen tools and they can be found in the same place. We're going to come down here to the lower right corner and on our taskbar, you see this symbol. And when I hover over it, it's Windows Ink Workspace. We're going to click there and we see a link for both the full screen snip and the whiteboard. We're going to start with the whiteboard. Let's click there. Our whiteboard opens up. Just a moment, there we go. And you see I have one whiteboard drawing already here, so I'm gonna click on that. And you see it's a really bad attempt at me trying to draw a cube. It looks more like a stick of butter, a melting stick of butter, but it's there. We also can go ahead and create a new whiteboard by clicking here and notice that we have templates for different kinds of things that we can do with this whiteboard because quite Honestly, if we do brainstorming here, you can share whiteboards with other people and you can all brainstorm, in this case, together. There's lots of tools in here. There's the pen tool where we can just simply, of course, it gave me the, uh, let's go with black. You know, I can write my notes. Now, it's really hard to do this with a mouse. If this was a Windows tablet, a Surface tablet, and I had a stylus, it might be a little bit easier. But there's a lot of great tools in here. You can change your pen color. You've got a highlighter. I've got my eraser. Lots of really great things. I can add another note. It's a great tool. The whiteboard is really awesome. And if you want to, actually, let's get rid of this one. We can go ahead and invite participants, export, delete it, or report. We're going to go ahead and delete it. And you'll also know, notice that I can give the whiteboard a title. So it's really nice. It's a really, really nice new feature here in Windows 10. Now, let's come back down here to our lower right corner and take a look at the full screen snip. Now, before I do that, when I click that, it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to take a snip, a screenshot of my entire screen. So I'm going to give it something to take a screenshot of. I have this photograph that I took some time ago. And I'm going to go and click on full screen snip. And look at that. It gave me that full screen snip. Now, I've got the taskbar in there and I have these edges. But I can crop those out if I want to. I have those options. See here, I have a crop tool. But the nice thing about the full screen snip like this is that once I crop this, and you see I have my check mark here, I now have drawing tools. So I can go ahead and like we saw on the whiteboard, I can write right on this image. And as you can see, it's really hard, or I shouldn't say it's really hard. It's really hard for me to write with a mouse. But again, if I had this on a tablet and I was using a pen tool or a stylus, this would be a lot better. But that's the full screen snip using the Windows Ink, just like we saw on the whiteboard. So now you know a little bit more about the whiteboard and the full screen snip apps. Well, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.